All right, so here we go. We have uh, Seagull Joe on Palutena against Walugi on the Snake starting out PS2. As everybody knows, Tony will say PS2 make the best games. Curious to see how this goes. Walugi's been doing better against some of our uh, stronger players recently. Uh, not exactly the strongest start right here as he's eating a 86% though. Man, the Stairmaster's doing 21 damage, so that's a very good way to get yourself started to get back into things. Ooh, catch a Seagull dashing in with a down tilt right there. Good patience, but uh, gonna eat a punish there for that up tilt. Not quite enough to kill with the up air. Snake's a heavy boy, but he's got to find a way back down to the ground, and that is so hard for Snake in this matchup. Valtana can just kind of sit there and wait, catch you with like a Nair, Bear, something like that. Uh, and that's going to be like the real difficulty is making sure that when he gets knocked in disadvantage that he doesn't spend too much time in the air above uh, Paltana. <laughs> and Seagull is showing off the auto reticle right there. That's a very good answer to Snake trying to set up with Nikita. Oh no, he got stuck. He got caught on the lip of the stage. That is so unfortunate. He's going to yeah, go down a quick 3-1 to one here. But uh, quickly find the kill. Gonna try and get himself back in it here. Got the parry, got the detail. Not gonna get much else off of it though. Knocked a uh, Palutena a little bit too high up in the air. Look at the distance on auto, auto reticle. <clears throat> they were almost standing underneath each side of the platform for each other, and it looked like that's about like the max range. So if he wants to set up and start shooting Nikitas, he's going to have to do it from all the way across the stage to uh, remove the threat of getting auto reticle for trying to do it. And that's just free damage for Seagull. Wow, that short range <laughs> explosive flame right there. Barely avoiding the down air. The back air, though. And not find his way back to the stage. Uh, Seagull going all the way out there. I'm surprised that teleport made it back. The back throw. Uh, eh, questionable DI. But yeah, definitely going to take the, throw, uh, the kill right there at the edge of the stage. Too bad for you. So we're going to go into the game two here. I mean, like, it, I feel like other than the fact that he SD'd on the second stock there very early, unfortunately, uh, the Cypher getting caught underneath PS2, which probably might have killed momentum for him there. So we'll see how Waluigi gets back into it in game two here. <laughs> Seagull, that's, that's a good strategy right there, right? He's going to sit there. Hang in a safe distance, uh, throw auto reticle out, because it's faster than, you know, snake lobbing grenades or uh, using Nikita. So he's essentially forcing uh, Waluigi to try to get close to try and fight him up close. I say close twice there, but you know what I mean. You make him box. You take away his option to sit away from the stage, pull, cook grenades, and all that, just by having a tool as good as auto reticle in your uh, repertoire. Okay, the dash attack there. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Good get up attack timing right there from Seagull Joe just to completely negate both the up smash and the uh, charge down smash attempt for Walugi. Gotta find a way down this stage again. Yeah, getting caught by the dash attack right there. Almost getting caught with up air. This is risky, man. Snake is running out of resources to get back to the ground. All right, the uh, punishing the explosive frame with the dash attack right there. He's got to, Seagull's got to be careful with using some of the uh, the longer attacks Palutena has when Snake is within burst range, because that dash attack does cover a fair bit of distance. But the back throw is going to take the first stock anyway. Seagull not looking too worried. Uh, 111, though, he wants to make sure he doesn't close enough to get up tilted. Coming down with the fair, going to eat F tilt, though, for his trouble. I like that turning the Nikita around to try and two frame the, um, or not even two frame, just to try and catch her reappearing after the uh, the uh, B warp. Okay, catch a Seagull jumping in with Nair. He's got pretty good control of center stage right now, shielding the auto reticle, but you can only do that for so long. Yeah, that shield's getting kind of tiny. Gonna pull a couple grenades. Got to be careful about the jumps, though, because Seagull will always be able to sniff that out with a uh, Nair. All 
right, again, we're back to the we're back to the auto reticle uh, grenade warfare here at this kind of mid range distance. I mean, while Luki's kind of getting the better end of the deal a little bit there until until he got approached in back thrown, but for a while it was looking like he was kind of landing a grenade or two, which is really what Snake wants to sit there, you know, hit you with a couple grenades every now and again, just kind of wear you out both uh, mentally and uh, physically there. Oh my goodness, they're using the dash tech to get in underneath the auto reticle now. It's got full stage control here. And see, all gets to warp through to the other side, but he's still kind of cornered. Oh my god, the explosive flame coming through right there, catching uh, while Luki trying to Nikita. F tilt not quite going to do it. Oh man, yeah, the jump getting scouted out there by Seagull with the up air, going to take it. This is still. He has to be careful though. Seagull's got a lead, but it is very tenuous at 138%. Uh, when up tilt right now will do it. But the trades, not too bad. Like, trading with Snake, not really an awful idea when you've got a lead like this. Snake being such a heavy boy, you want to go into that last, if while he gets the last stock, you want to go into it with as much damage on him as possible. Okay, now how does Waluigi find the stock here? He's, oh my goodness, okay, air dodging through. I feel not quite gonna do it, but yeah, Nikita catching Seagull, sleeping at the wheel, drifting in there to get back to the stage quicker. Oh my, I have to do with the quick turnaround up tilt. I like that even though like Seagull is reflecting and using the auto reticle, uh, while Luigi hasn't completely stopped using grenades, he's just making sure that he's shielding now when they get reflected back at him. You don't want to, you know, completely stop using an option because then your opponent gets to, you know, uh, take it out of their mental stack and say, okay, now I've got, I've stopped him using grenades. He's not going to use them for the rest of the match. Uh, while Luigi continues to set up and throw them as best he can, just to kind of keep the all in check. But right now, doing a really amazing job of walling while Luigi out with the auto reticle. He was far enough to use the explosive flame, but not so much anymore as he's kind of backing closer as he pulls these grenades. Yeah, right right there at that distance is kind of perfect because unless Walogi it reads it and runs forward with a dash attack, uh, he can't really do much to challenge Seagull using explosive flame there. All right, we're above Palutena again. How are we getting down? He okay, lands close to the corner. Getting the weak hit of dash attack, interesting. Okay, gets the grenade. Seagull's kind of in this position where this this feels even, but at it, at the same time, Snake just needs to get close enough to touch once right now. Like he can get a, a grab to down tilt. I mean, grab excuse me, grab to up tilt. You know, get an up tilt read. So Seagull kind of has to yeah start using these platforms, start jumping around because he does not want to get touched by Snake. But he also has to get close enough to land like a either a dash attack, a bear, or something like that. To uh, secure the stock, so it's a little, it's a little risky. And the C4 by Waluigi. <laughs> what amazing patience there, man. Waluigi, like I said, chipping himself back into that match very slowly, uh, using the grenades very wisely, uh, planning his C4s, picking his spots, using a burst on dash tech. Very smart. That's some. That's some good patience right there. But uh, both of these two fighting it out to see who gets the opportunity to face ZD, you know, waiting in the winner's side grand finals. Sorry, I had a little distraction there. Going into game three here on PS2. Oh, 
Although he probably feels himself a little better after making that uh, pretty amazing comeback in game two and getting ready to start off very hot right here at the back air there in game three. Almost at the stop. But he's got Seagull cornered now. That could have that could have been bear right there. Okay. Dash tech. Keeping Seagull cornered. He was he wanted up tilt right there. He wanted to turn around and walk up and stop tilt. We gotta land. We cannot do so, man. Oh my god, he tried to come out with back air. Alright, gonna even it up with the quick dash attack there. Not too bad, not too bad. Both players taking in this really well. Interesting the uh music that he's using, he's crawling now. I guess maybe try and get himself just primed or in a good position to immediately like dash attack if Seagull tries to auto radical. Only gets one or two hits of the uh, the Stairmaster there. He's gonna eat a quick punish for it. All right, down throw. Seagull waits for the roll, but unfortunately, Nair is too far forward. All right, here we go. How do we get down? Oh my God! Just barely missing that up smash. That that might have done it. Taking the stock right there. Going to C4. All right, we're back to this situation here again where walugi has got Seagull Joe cornered with the grenades. Didn't have a C4 out. C4 on the right platform right now, so uh, keep that in mind. Good wait right there. Get in the grab. And oh my goodness, just the quick shimmying, the, <laughs> the get up attack right there. And uh, the down smash going to do it for Walugi. Got himself a solid lead now, 123%. He just needs to. Oh my goodness, yeah, the Trump gonna do it. The back air, I was about to say, if he had a chance to set up, maybe get to the other side of the stage, start throwing grenades, Seagull would be in trouble. But Seagull sniffing that out and going for the aggressive uh, lead Trump option. Just quickly cutting off any attempt for Waluki to get a lead. Oh my god, this is, like I was saying earlier, the part about landing against Paltana being so difficult. He just ate a good 60 plus percent right there, just trying to get to the ground. He's supposed to flame, almost doing it. How do we get down again? Gonna air dodge too, but they get frame chop with the down air. The grenade saving him, because that up air definitely would have been it right there. Just crawling, good, good crawl right there to get underneath that dash tag. The back air is going to do it for Seek All Joe taking the third game though. Curious to see if we'll see any counter breaks, so if this set will just all be PS2. Brig is probably in the back laughing if I'm, I'm shifting myself over to be in the center of the monitor now because I've been sitting here. We've got two chairs on the commentary set up, so I've just been sitting to the left of it. <laughs> There's no one else back here, though. It's just me. Oh, we got the, the song counter pick power up. Works for light, right? So. Going here into game four. Walugi with his. Uh, Tournament life on the line here. Seagull Joe managed to take this one. Opening up with the dash tag, though. Although he's saying he's not scared. I like that. I was about to say, he's uh, forward airing him right into where the C4 is. Unfortunately, a little bit too far for it to connect. But still a solid lead. Nice in the air train, though, though. How do we get down? How do we get down? Where are we landing? Barely dodging explosive flame. Now we're going to set up. I like Seagull waiting to see what he was going to do, just cooking that grenade. And then once he saw him running back, he just ran in with an air. Getting off the ledge, jumping over, warp it to the other side. It's it's kind of interesting that both these characters can kind of do the same thing. It's just Palutena's is way better because warp covers way much ground far faster than uh, Cypher does. But when each one of them has them on, the other one trapped on the ledge, they're both trying their hardest to kind of get up and over to the other side. That was crazy right there. It's working right in Waluigi's face. 
Seagull got to find a way to stop the bleeding, though. 181%. Going to die to the down air now. Well, he, again, going to try to set up here. Make some room for himself. Not quite finding it. Okay, only going to do the first hit of the F tilt. The dash tech not quite doing it, but got to get down to the ground. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the back there. See ya. All right, we're back to neutral. We got the Nair train going. Or the Nair plane. Whichever way you prefer to, uh, prefer to call it. Okay. C4 on the right platform. Not doing much for the Ligi right now, but he's got the uh, the edge guard going anyway. Excuse me, the lead trapping, rather. Smart by Seagull to kind of back off right there. He knew the, Seagull, the C4 was on the right platform. So once he got that extra hit and knock Willie given the air, he kind of drifted back to the left a little bit, just in case while he decided to pull the trigger on it. Got a, a bit of a lead for Seagull. Well, a short lead, rather. Very very small and short-lived. Back throw going to do it again, man. That is doing work for Seagull in this set. Set up at the ledge, and yeah, the C4 can't hold on the ledge for that long, especially at higher percents. You uh, you lose that invincibility much faster, and uh, you just got to kind of make a decision to figure out what you're going to do. Right, down throw. Not going to get anything off it, though. Trying to get away. Okay, be reversing back. The fake out jukes. See y'all saying my forward air is better. All right, B throw. What's the play? We're going high. We're going to come back to the left hand. Ooh, the double fake out. Big jukes. Surprised to see uh, Seagull running in, though, having uh, that big a lead right there when Wally was just kind of chucking a couple grenades. All right, now we just got to find something to get in close. Like I said, Seagull's getting real comfortable right now, finding that bit range, throwing out the auto reticle, the explosive flames. Just kind of trying to chip out, get a bit more damage. That way he can kill Snake probably with an up air or a back throw at the ledge. Well, Lugi got to find something to, to, to break the, the zoning, break the donut, break the distance here. A little scary, crouching to avoid the back air. No, he doesn't quite get the grab though. He turns, uh, turns around, unfortunately. He's trying to keep these pokes as safe as he can, but not finding anything just yet. Oh, and finally going to eat a back air for his trouble right there, and Seagull going to take it three-one. Good stuff to both players, though. I mean, that was a pretty good display of uh, patience from both sides. Uh, each one of them finding their own little methods of zoning and zone breaking throughout the match. Uh, neither one getting either extremely impatient, you know, rushing in, because that's usually what happens against Snake. You know, you get frustrated, you get a little, you get tired, you run in, you start getting hit by a grenade, you start getting grabbed or, or down air, dash tag, all that good stuff. Uh, so good stuff to Walugi. Uh, going out the third, pretty respectable. And we are going to see the... Uh, I should call it the Xandu Classic, you know, the, the ZD Seagull when no one else is around.